Boeing unveiled the first T-7A Red Hawk advanced trainer for the Air Force at its St. Louis, Mo. Facilities April 28, revealing a jet bearing the tail flash of the 99th Flying Training Squadron at Joint Base San Antonio Randolph, Texas, which will be the first unit to operate the new airplane. The first T-7A squadron is to be operational in 2024. The Red Hawk name, its red tail, and the 99th all-pair recognition to the Tuskegee Airmen of World War II, some of whom were on hand for the ceremony. The canopy rail of the rollout jet was painted with the names of Red Tail's commander, the late Brig. Gen. Charles McGee, and Lt. Col. George Hardy, who attended the event. Boeing showed videos honoring the Tuskegee Airmen and linking the jet to their legacy. T-7A is a Boeing Saab cooperation that has lasted the latest decade. The two companies have together designed, developed and built a new advanced pilot training system called T-7A. T-7A is designed in accordance with U.S. Air Force military future fighter and bomber pilot training requirements. The specific T-7A is the dedicated variant for U.S. Air Force. The T-7A aircraft represents a courageous undertaking in innovation design and is developed in a way that will transform the paradigm of rising cost and long development lead time for military aircraft. Boeing and Saab have proven that through relentless focus in both production and maintenance, T-7A has broken the cost curve without sacrificing time, safety or performance. Today's and future fighter systems will demand modern training aircraft and ground-based training tools that are of technical and tactical equivalent level. T-7A is designed with maintenance in mind to reduce cost and complexity. Integrated logistic support, both on-board and off-board, as well as high reliability and availability will minimize lifecycle cost of the entire T-7A system. The trainer has a single engine, twin fin and a stadium seating that gives both the instructor pilot as well as the student pilot an excellent view from cockpit. T-7A is equipped with modern avionics, advanced display systems and embedded training. The aircraft, along with simulators and associated ground equipment, will replace Air Education and Training Command's aging fleet of T-38C Talon aircraft. Quality has always been and remains the top priority for Air Education and Training Command, Lt. Gen. Brad Webb, commander of AETC, said. The T-7A aircraft and accompanying ground systems will help us meet the Air Force's mission and prepare aircrew to fight future threats. Getting the T-7A into the hands of our instructors, students and maintainers is important to our initiatives in transforming pilot training to ensure the highest caliber of pilots are ready for future conflict. The Red Hawk, a joint effort between Boeing and Saab, is the first Air Force aircraft to use digital design tools to allow it to move from computer screen to first flight in 36 months. The T-7 was designed through model-based systems engineering and 3D tools, said Colonel Kurt Cassell, T-7 program manager. This enabled quicker assembly and improved quality to deliver a safe and effective training system for air education and training command. Going forward, the aircraft will perform a series of ground checks and taxi tests before making its first flights in the coming weeks. Later this year, it will fly to Edwards AFB, California to begin flight tests. The T-38 is a true workhorse training Air Force fighter and bomber pilots for Air Education and Training Command, but the T-7 Red Hawk is a game-changer, providing advanced mission systems, a glass touchscreen cockpit, stadium seating, and embedded training capability, Cassell said.
The aircraft is part of a new, modern, and advanced pilot training system which will be delivered to the USAF, known as T-7A Red Hawk in honor of the Tuskegee Airmen. With the rollout of the T-7A Red Hawk we are honoring our heritage as we usher in a new and exciting era of pilot training," said Lt. Gen. Richard M. Clark, superintendent of the United States Air Force Academy and keynote speaker at the rollout ceremony. This aircraft links our storied past to the possibilities of our future and will enable the next generation of Air Force leaders to fulfill their unlimited potential. In 2018, the U.S. Air Force awarded Boeing a $9.2 billion contract for 351 advanced trainers later named the T-7A Red Hawk and 46 simulators in support. The jet was digitally designed using advanced digital modeling and manufacturing techniques. The jet was developed from concept to first flight in 36 months. The new advanced trainer incorporates open architecture software, digital fly-by-wire controls and advanced cockpit technology that provides a new level of safety and training for future fighter pilots. The advanced trainer is assembled at Boeing's St. Louis, Missouri site. The aft section is produced by Saab and digitally joined along the production line. I'm so proud of this team," said Paul Nywald, Vice President Boeing T-7 Programs. Overcoming production and test challenges brought on by the global COVID-19 pandemic over the past two years and bringing this new technology to the forefront of fighter training will ensure that U.S. Air Force fighter pilots are getting the best training in the world. This first T-7 Air Ed Hawk produced as part of the engineering and manufacturing development phase of the program, is scheduled to undergo ground and taxi tests before its first flight. 